Hey everyone, David here again. I just wanted to do a really quick video on a product that I am going to give a warning for you guys not to buy. Um, unfortunately, I, I watched a lot of reviews. I read a lot of reviews on it and it seems like most reviews, the company either sent them a free unit to do a review on or they were contacted by this company and paid for the reviews. And so there's a ton of positive reviews on this product. Um, but when you really start searching, you start to see a lot of negative reviews from people that actually paid for it and weren't paid by the company to do the reviews, which is really kind of disappointing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they had better luck than me. But this is the product right here. This is the Removu or Removu K1. It's a 4K camera and gimbal combination. Uh, gimbal is basically a steady cam that's motorized. It's a lot of great things. I really, really, really wanted to like this. Now, for the most part, it kind of works. 1080p works, but it's a 4K camera. And so let me talk a little bit about what this is and then what the problem is with it and why I'm telling you guys not to buy it. So a gimbal, like I said, is a steady cam. Let me just kind of bring it here. You have a nice big screen on the back. You can actually tap the trigger three times and it'll turn around. You can have a nice, nice selfie vlog mode. So there I am behind the camera talking to you guys. Turn it back around. There's all kinds of features on this. You have a nice big screen. It's very similar to the DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket and that is a 4K camera with a gimbal. But the problem I have is that in 4K, the entire unit will freeze up after about two minutes of recording. Uh, the only way to actually shut it down is to remove the battery. Nothing works. None of the buttons work. The trigger doesn't work. The on off switch doesn't work. The entire unit freezes up and then it gets really, really, really hot and it completely drains the battery within like 10 or 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. I tried multiple SD cards. The SD cards that I'm using here are the exact same SD cards I use in my Sony that I'm recording with that I don't have any problems with whatsoever. Um, but you know, I've kind of gone back and forth because 1080 works fine, but it's a 4K camera. And even though I don't necessarily record in 4K, for 300 bucks, it's just not okay. You can pay a little bit more and get the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which is actually what I just ordered to replace this, uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Even though I have some qualms about that, there's certain things I don't like. Still, for the same price, or a little bit more than this, it works a friend of mine has it and he hasn't had any problems with it and this is the second unit i actually sent the first unit back thinking that maybe i had a defective unit and i got this one and it does the same thing i've reached out to removu or removu or removu however you want to pronounce it multiple times asking maybe there's a firmware update coming maybe they know about it because it is on their frequently asked questions on their website what do i do when my camera freezes up which is kind of a red flag that they know about it and haven't put out a firmware yet to fix it. So I've emailed them multiple times, tried to get in touch with them several times saying, hey, what's going on? How do I fix it? I've done all the troubleshooting. My cards are formatted like you want. What can I do? And they have failed to get back in touch with me uh, several times that I've reached out to them. So I just wanted to do a quick heads up because there just seems to be so many positive reviews and I just have an inkling that a lot of those positive reviews are sponsored uh, either paid for or they sent them these for free i know one of the channels they've sent them this they've sent them the backpack harness they've sent them the hard case they've sent them a whole lot of free stuff to do reviews on and you know that's just a biased review i paid for this with my hard earned money and i want to give you guys an honest review hugely hugely disappointing but that's going to be it i just want to do this quick video because i'm about to pack this up and ship it back and i'll be getting the uh, gopro soon um, GoPro is still great. It's got good stabilization. I just don't have that camera while I'm vlogging, which is something I wanted to start doing on this channel, but I can figure something out with that. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it in the future. Maybe they'll come out with a new version that doesn't freeze up, but the fact that they just have failed to get back in touch with me when I'm trying to reach out to them as a consumer is hugely disappointing. Anyways, that's it. I'm gonna pack it up, ship it back, get my money back, and uh, See you guys in a future video.